because each teacher is, has the right and the obligation to set up their classroom in a way that fits their style, mm -hmm. the needs of the students, and the needs of the subject matter, right. we have to get teachers to recognize you have to teach kids how to function here in this unique Room 19. Yes. Because no matter how much we do with school-wide stuff, Room 19 is going to be unique. And so the acronym CHAMPS is for every activity, cooperative groups, lab activities, teacher-directed instruction, tests, independent no seat work. No matter what you're doing. No matter what mm -hmm. you're doing, you need to know conversation. Mm -hmm. Can I talk to other kids, and if so, about what, how loud, to whom, how many of us can be involved, and how long can we talk? Okay. Because your room will be different from my room, which will be different than Mrs. Thompson's room across the hall. The CHAMPS acronym, the H is HELP. How do I get help? How do I get questions answered? And how do I get the teacher's attention? Mm -hmm. Because we need, to, we need to recognize teachers are spread between 15 to 20 to 30 to maybe even 40 kids, exactly. or for some specials in high school, 60 kids. Exactly. Kids need to know, how can I have access to you in ways that will not be intrusive of your job or interfere with your effectiveness, but still, I need access to you. The A is what is the activity itself. The M is movement. Mm -hmm. Can I get out of my seat? Can I get a drink of water? Can I sharpen my pencil? Can I hand something in? Can I get those materials? And do I need your permission to do so or not? Right. And the P is the most important part of the acronym. It's participation. Mm -hmm. What should active participation here in Room 19 look like? What should it sound like? And the thing that we want to get teachers utilizing that acronym for is we want them realizing you want a different set of behaviors from kids mm -hmm. when you're presenting a lesson than when they're working on an independent seat work activity, yes. than when they're at lab stations or when they're working in groups. And people kept asking, what's the S? And then I started visiting schools and a lot of schools that said, well, it's success. Uh -huh. If you do conversation, help, activity, movement, and participation the right way, then you'll be successful.